Hello everyone, this is Sir Ayushi from Windows Overseas. So as we already posted that we'll be coming live today uh, with Mr. Vivek from Coast Mountain College. So first of all, let me uh, give uh, introduction about my company, Windows Overseas. So we are into immigration from last 14 years and we have uh, four offices in Punjab and we have our international offices in Canada as well as in Australia. So here we have Mr. Vivek Sharma from Coast Mountain College. So welcome Vivek and over to you. So let us know about your uh, institute and programs and everything. Uh, thank you very much Ayushi for this lovely introduction. So uh, students today we are uh, like conducting this Facebook live on uh, the page of Indoors Overseas. So uh, without wasting any time, let's start and uh, I will uh, let you know all each and everything about Coast Mountain College, like its overview, USPs, what are the requirements and what kind of programs we are offering. So uh, let's start. I'm going to share my screen with you all. So, uh, students, the name of college is Coast Mountain College. It is established in 1975. From 1975 till 2017, its name was Northwest Community College, which was also known as NWCC. And this is very popular in Indian subcontinent. But after 2017, its name has been changed to Coast Mountain College. Uh, second most, most important thing is that Coast Mountain College is a public funded institute. So it's a government institute. So the students who are like interested to get admissions into government institutions or public funded institutions, here is it. This is uh, Coast Mountain College. So uh, if we talk about the, its location, it is located in British Columbia province of Canada, uh, basically in the northwest region of British Columbia. As you can see in the picture, this region is very uh, uh, popular tourist destination because of its uh, scenic beauty, like uh, landscapes, mountains, waterfalls, rivers and uh, very big and beautiful coastal line. So as you can see in the pictures, place is very beautiful. It is also known for its uh, winter supports. So, uh, so this is the map of Canada. And as you can see, uh, this is the British Columbia province and we are located here in the Northwest region. We have total seven campus in this particular location. But out of seven, we offer our three campuses to uh, uh, international students. And these three campuses are here in the magnified map, Paris, Prince Rupert, and Smithers. These all three campuses are closely interconnected. Uh, it will take one and a half hour drive to reach Prince Rupert from Paris, and same one and a half hour drive from Paris to reach Smithers. So where is CMT and like May, our main campus is in Taras city. So we can say that the uh, most of the programs are conducted in Taras campus. If we talk about the distance from Vancouver, it will take one hour short flight to reach Taras from, uh, from Vancouver. Like I, as I earlier told you that it is a popular tourist destination. So Taras is a central hub with quick access to the nature's playground. And uh, if we talk about the weather condition, like most of the students from India have some kind of perception in their mind that they are going to Canada and weather conditions are very uh, like extreme over there. But if we talk about Vancouver, this is the uh, like British Columbia, this is the first preference for all immigrants and students just because of its weather conditions. So students can enjoy all the four weathers here. They can enjoy winters, summer, spring and fall as well. Especially in winters, there is only a four to 10 day slot comes when temperature dips down below zero degree. And that only goes up to minus 10 degrees. So uh, we can say that winters are very mild over here. Winters are not like that extreme weather conditions are not there. So uh, next, uh, this is a short video of an international student who is sharing her experiences at Coast Mountain College. I'm not gonna play this video. But uh, you can find these videos and testimonials on our YouTube page, Facebook, Insta, and Twitter also by the name of Coast Mountain College. So uh, this is the picture of our Terrace campus. As you can see, this, there is no that much snowfall. So there is no any kind of interruption in transportation or communication. 
campus is quite huge it is spread over in 11 acres of land we have separate buildings for each and every department uh, for transformative learning spaces if we talk about cmd at glance we serve more than 34 communities which means we serve more than uh, 34 nationalities of students here we can easily find out students from india southeast asia middle east africa south america and europe also we have more than 4400 students in our these three regional campuses we offer more than 45 programs for students to choose from remember we have programs for arts background students medical non medical we have programs for uh, students who are interested in land of culinary arts we have job oriented programs like early childhood care and uh, uh, social service worker program so there are lots of programs we have a variety of programs this is the picture of taras campus during summers so now we come to the main point like why to choose cmtn so uh, here are some points let's start with the first point that is 97% of satisfaction rate which shows the quality of education at coast mountain college which means 90 97% of students get job immediate after completion of their programs or rest of the students can proceed for their further studies like a four year bachelor degree or a masters in canada because we also run university credit courses here smaller class size equals to better rates the average class size at coast mountain college is in between 15 to 35 students only which gives an opportunity to students to get better interaction with their instructors and professors inclusive and multicultural learning environment as i told you we serve more than 34 communities here so multicultural learning environment is also there flexible study options like uh, there are three days classes a week and the schedule of classes will be given to students only after registering uh, registration for their semesters supportive instructors and staff last but not least we have on campus residence also like our on campus residence is very affordable the charges is in between 300 to 600 canadian dollar per month per head so i can say that this is the most affordable hostel facility throughout the canada so these are the points which are mentioned here in uh, the uh, presentation but we know that there are lots of questions in students mind like uh, most of the students are asking for the uh, job availability as a part time jobs living cost then uh, wage rate then uh, they have question about the pr possibility so i will uh, like these all are the usps for coast mountain college if we talk about the job availability in this particular region northwest british columbia like taras is not a very big city like toronto or vancouver but job possibilities or job opportunities are quite higher in this region uh, and the reason behind that is there are lots of industries active active like number one is mining industry like related to oil and gas so there are lots of mining companies students can also work in the mining in the mining companies but i will uh, like i need to mention that in mining industry only those students can work who can do hard labor like who can who are tough enough to do hard labor and they can earn near about 30 canadian dollar per hour so uh, this is the like most uh, desirable industry but uh, not every student can work in this industry because of requirement of hard labor but we have lots of other industries like we have, as i told you this is a tourist destination so there are uh, hotels resorts restaurants cafes bars then we have uh, Uh, lots of grocery stores and very big farm lands owned by indian people also so you can also find your jobs in this like in these industries and at last british columbia government promotes this whole region as a economic zone so they set up lots of industrial areas over there so we have lots of uh, manufacturing and packaging units you can also find your job in these industries last thing is like we all are suffering from covid 19 pandemic from last one and half year so in the same time uh, the students who are residing in toronto or vancouver they are jobless they face the scarcity of jobs but in this particular region there is no any scarcity of jobs so uh, the next question is wage rate like uh, wage rate uh, minimum wage rate in this region is 14 canadian dollars which goes up to 25 canadian dollars if we don't include mining industry into it so 15 uh, 14 canadian dollar minimum which goes up to 25 canadian dollars maximum and if we talk about the pr possibilities we all know that uh, british columbia this particular northwest region comes with some extra benefits 
and these benefits are if you apply for PR after completion of your studies, you will get extra points in your PR application. Uh, same as the students get extra points in uh, Prince George. Prince George city is only and only four hours away from Paris. So these are the few benefits with Coast Mountain College. So if we talk about the programs, we have uh, diplomas, associate degrees, certificates and postgraduate programs also. Uh, I will let you know about some popular programs at Coast Mountain College. We have business programs, business administration programs. We have UG and PG, both programs related to business. We have a business administration diploma for plus two students and post degree business administration for graduate students from India. So uh, if we talk about the requirement about uh, business programs, maths, calculus or statistics, one of any these subjects is mandatory uh, in plus two or in graduation. Anyone in uh, uh, graduation or plus two is mandatory. So the students who have maths as a subjects in plus two or graduation, they can go directly for this program. But don't worry, the students who doesn't have maths in their background studies, they can also go for this program, but they have they need to choose some another ways. Like first way is they need to get an extra uh, bridging program, or we can say that bridging or foundation program by the name of pre-business program uh, with the duration of four months and extra cost as well. That is 5,500 Canadian dollars. They have to pay for uh, getting this program and uh, who don't wish to pay this extra money and extra time. They need to submit their application for the program. And after that, they need to uh, uh, register themselves for an online maths test by the name of AccuPlaces Maths Test. Uh, the cost for this test is only and only 25 Canadian dollars. You have to pay 25 Canadian dollars and uh, you have to uh, give this test. If you clear this test, you can uh, present the mark sheet or the mark sheet as a supporting document to get admissions in this program. Next is applied coastal ecology. We have applied coastal ecology diploma for plus two students and applied coastal ecology uh, post degree for graduate students. This program comes with uh, basically this program is a job oriented program. Like I told you, there are lots of mining industries and like very big uh, coastal line is there. So there are lots of shipping industries, dockyards. So uh, immediate after completion of your studies, you can find job. You will get a job guarantee. Uh, requirements for this program is uh, the only students who have biology, botany or zoology, the medical subjects who have done plus two with medical, they can go for this program or uh, we have post degree in applied coastal ecology also for that student must have biology botany or zoology as a subject in plus two or in graduation like the students who have done bsc agriculture bsc biology they can also go for these programs next is early childhood care and social service worker program these both programs are uh, uh, like very in uh, huge demand because uh, canadian government recently uh, include both these professions in essential services. So these programs are come with guaranteed job. Uh, for early childhood care education, student must have experience of uh, like any job where he have interaction with small kids. But if students doesn't have any kind of experience, don't worry, you have to uh, give an extra document like you have to submit your resume, uh, your uh, uh, BC immunization uh, certificate along with criminal record check and you have to mention in this SOP that what why you choose this uh, program uh, what are your endeavors to come to Canada and serve the humanity so you have to uh, give this kind of like uh, written statement along with this application. And uh, experience it may be volunteer or in association with any NGO or uh, like if you have done NSS in plus two or graduation if you have joined NSS you can also present that certificate along with application next is associate degree in arts and science yes uh, the students who have done uh, plus two or graduation uh, plus two in uh, arts or humanities they can go for associates of arts degree uh, with general studies and we have associates degree in science also for the students who have done uh, plus two in medical or non-medical they can go for these programs for general studies and these all programs comes under 
the university credit courses. So as I told you that we run university credit courses. So we have uh, university credit courses for arts and, arts and humanities in English, First Nations, history, philosophy, women's studies. Science students can also go with the lots of subjects. And for social science, we have anthropology, criminology, political science, sociology, and psychology also. Here are a few specialization programs like uh, criminology, sustainable communities, archaeological and cultural resource management, and environmental geosciences. Post degree programs, I have already mentioned you about the post degree programs like applied coastal ecology and business administrations. So as I told you that we have a two plus two program like university credit programs. So the students who want to do a four year bachelor degree or a master's degree in Canada, here is the right option with affordable tuition fee structure. Uh, students have to spend two years at Coast Mountain College and uh, next two years at any other renowned college or university throughout the Canada. Like first two years in Coast Mountain College and last two years in another college or university to get four year bachelor degree. What we do, we, we transfer your credits to that particular college or university wherever you want to like continue your study and you can get your admission directly in the third year of your four year tenure in that college or university. Here are the few names of the renowned colleges and university like we have partnership with. We have partnership with more than 29 colleges and universities. So there are few names like BC Institute of Technology, Royal Roads University, University of British Columbia, University of Northern British Columbia, University of Victoria. And there are a lot of universities from Europe and Australia also. We have on campus workshops for each and every trade for better practical learning. Field schools, yes, we conduct field schools twice in a year and especially in spring and summer season. Uh, one thing I want to mention that we also include three to six credit courses in these field schools so that students can get an opportunity to get high scores in their uh, academics. Housing, like I told you that we have five residence buildings in Terrace campus. Uh, we have residence buildings in Smithers and Prince Rupert also. We offer uh, private accommodations, male only, female only dormitories, superior room and standard room, live in with residence advisors. If we talk about live in with residence advisors or male only, female only dormitories, the charges for these two categories is only and only 300 Canadian dollars per month. And if you choose private accommodations with superior room or standard room, you have to pay 500 to 600 Canadian dollar per month, which includes kitchen and laundry service and food service on site because we have cafe and restaurant inside the campus. For off, off campus housing, I told you that this location terrace or the Northwest region comes with very uh, low living cost. So uh, we run a homestay program through Canada Homestay Network where you have to pay 500 to 800 Canadian dollar to hire a two bedroom house or an apartment in this region, which means if uh, four students goes for a two bedroom apartment or a house, they have to pay only and only 200 Canadian dollar per head per month. So if we talk about the events, there are near about 18 events we conducted throughout the year. Uh, like cultural workshops, student success parties, student union events, bike share program, residence life activities. So there are lots of activities, uh, especially for students so that they can enjoy while they are still. So uh, uh, we have educational advisors, we have uh, international student advisors, uh, learning assistance specialist, financial aid officers, and keep me safe counseling app also. Like educational advisors are there to advise students to choose the right program for their future perspectives. International student advisors, we have three international student advisor desks at our campus, for, uh, especially for to help and support international students. International student advisors help you in registration for your first semester, for uh, guiding you about the quarantine program, how to reach Terrace campus, what documentations are required. They assist you to get job on campus or off campus. So they can support you in each and every, uh, like uh, whenever you reach, need any kind of support. 
we also conduct pre departure sessions along with international students like in month of may we have conducted two webinars for the students who have uh, granted visas for may and september intake and they can like uh, they can ask any question that they have in their minds learning assistants are there who support those students who lack in their studies uh, with putting extra support and efforts towards them financial aid officers right now we are not giving any kind of scholarships to the students uh, before entering the campus but the students who are bright and uh, very good uh, in their uh, academics they are entitled for uh, scholarships as this is a public funded in institutions so disbursal of uh, scholarships is very easy Hello. Okay, there, so uh, there's some technical issue at Vivek's end. So, if anybody is having any questions, they can post it in the section and I'll clear with Vivek. Hi, Vivek. Are you back? Okay, guys, so I believe there's some error, there's some technical issue at Vivek's end. So we'll connect back soon. 